This is a helpful beading tip from Turquoise String Beads in Fall River, Massachusetts. It's for a beginning level beater and it relates to wire wrapping a bralette. So I'm going to be using three tools here, a wire cutter, round nose pliers, and chain nose pliers. I have a stone briolette here in rose quartz, and I have some 24 gauge sterling silver half hard wire. And the gauge of wire you use uh, can vary depending on how big your stone is or how big the hole in your stone is. I'm going to start by sticking my piece of wire through the stone, and I'm going to take my two wires and I'm going to crisscross them on top of the tip of the briolette, and I want to bring that little X that they create pretty close down to the stone. Now I'm going to take my chain nose pliers, and they have that flat edge inside, and with the tip of the pliers I'm going to grab right where the two wires crisscross, and then fairly quickly I'm going to pinch them together. Now I want to take my cutter, and I'm going to cut that short piece down so it's even shorter. You want to leave an amount of wire there from that, that little bend upwards, that'll be about the amount for three wraps. You don't really want more than that. Now I'm going to take my chain nose. I'm going to grab both of those wires here, just so my little short piece is just barely sticking up from the pliers. I'm going to bend my wire, my long wire, into a 90 degree angle. And now I'm going to create a loop with my round nose pliers. And I don't want a, a huge loop, so I'm only going to go about a quarter of the way into the pliers. I'm going to bring my wire over and around. Make sure to center your circle so it's nice and straight. Now I'm going to take my chain nose pliers and I'm going to sandwich that loop flat in between the jaws of the pliers. And I'm going to take my long piece and I'm going to wrap it around uh, those two pieces there, binding them together. And it's really important that you get that first little piece into this first wrap. Ideally, we'll be wrapping about three times. You want to stop wrapping when those two wires over here um, start to flare out over the tip of the stone. You don't want to keep going past that. Now my wire cutter is going to snip off this wire as close as I can get it. And my chain nose is going to tuck in that little bit of wire that's still sticking out. You can straighten this up if you have to. And now, um, we can show you some applications for this. Here we have an asymmetrical necklace that has a bunch of watermelon tourmalines and iolites, all briolette wrapped into a chain. We have a couple different pairs of earrings here, a briolette hanging off of a chain, and a briolette hanging off of a larger textured ring. And then we have a briolette wrapped in the center here, among other crystals and pearls from a larger jump ring hanging off a chain. There's lots of different ways that you can use that. That's it for now. We hope this was helpful to you. We'll have lots more helpful hints, so stay tuned. In the meantime, happy beating from Turquoise String Beads in Fall River, Massachusetts.